The very ink with which history is written is merely fluid prejudice. To remain ignorant of history is to remain forever a child. And to foretell the destiny of a nation, it is necessary to open the book that tells of her past. The horror of the Filipinos under the Spanish regime was once unveiled in our history subjects before. A lot of valorous and fearless Filipinos laid down their lives in order to put an end to the detriment and prejudice era of Spanish colonization. One of those brave Filipino warriors is Hermano Pule. Apolinario de la Cruz, also known as Hermano Pule, was born on July 22, 1815 to Pablo de la Cruz and Juana Andres in Barrio Pandac in the town of Lucban in Tayabas Province, now Quezon Province. Both of his parents were peasants and religious Catholics. In 1829, he decided to become a priest and tried to join the Order of Preachers in Manila. During those times, Roman Catholic religious orders barred Indios or the native people of the Philippines from joining. Thus, de la Cruz's application was rejected for the sole reason of his race. He then decided to work as a lay brother at the San Juan de Dios Hospital, where he was admitted to the Cofradia de San Juan de Dios, a brotherhood affiliated with the hospital and was open to Indios. During this time, he improved his public speaking and studied the Bible along with other religious writings. In December 1832, 18-year-old de la Cruz along with Filipino secular priest, Brother Seriaco de los Santos, and 19 other individuals from Tayabas, founded the Cofradia de San Jose, also known as Confraternity of St. Joseph, that is composed of Indios. He then became known to his followers as Hermano Pule or Brother Pule. The Filipino Brotherhood fostered the practice of Christian virtues centered around the cults of St. Francis of Assisi and the Virgin of Antipolo. They also incorporated elements of pre-colonial pagan beliefs such as the use of anting anting or talismans. Most of its adherents were from Tayabas, Laguna, Cavite, and Batangas. The Cofradia prohibited Spaniards and Mestizos from joining without de la Cruz's permission as a form of retaliation against the Church for discriminating against natives. Members of the Cofradia met monthly on the 19th day to honor the Feast of St. Joseph. In 1837, the Confraternity was renamed Cofradia del Señor San José Evoto del Santísimo Rosario, and evangelized in Lucban, Maihai, and Saraya. By 1841, the Cofradia had grown to an estimated 4,500 to 5,000 members. The Spanish were unaware of the Cofradia existence until 1840. However, as early as 1833, Filipino priests have noticed their activities in the vicinity of Mount San Cristobal and Mount Banahaw. Due to the increased number of members, Hermano Puli decided to have the Confradia recognized and authorized by the church and the government. He first sought recognition and authorization. He sought the approval of the real Odensha, but he was also denied. The Franciscan friars of Tayabas province denounced the Cofradia and decided that it had to be stopped. They called the attention of the Bernador Silio of Lucban and had 243 Cofradia members arrested on 19th of October 1840. The provincial governor of Tayabas, Don Joaquin Ortega, who was a husband to one of the members of the Cafaria immediately ordered the release of the prisoners once the news of arrests reached them. 
This order of the governor was opposed by the vicar, Father Antonio Mateo, and the parish priest, Father Manuel Sancho of Lucban, both wanted the imprisonment of the arrested members. Hermano Puli immediately sent a report to Archbishop Jose Segui in Manila, rebuking the acts of the friars in Tayabas. Puli challenged the authority of the vicar and of the parish church to do such acts because the aims of the cofradia were never against the Catholic faith. On 29 January 1841, a letter of De La Cruz was sent to the Bishop of Nueva Caceres restating that the cofradia was not against canon law. This petition letter was forwarded to a Jewish professor of Bishop Rick, who in turn endorsed it to Father Antonio Mateo, Vegar of Tayabas, and Father Manuel Sancho, the Paris priest of Lokban. The petition was ignored. In 1841, Governor General Marcelo de Ora Lecomberi had the Cofferdia outlawed, thinking that it was a seditious organization. In addition to the fact that the Cofradia only accepted natives, it was highly suspected that religion was used as a blind for political design and potential insurgents against Spanish authorities. Governor General de Ora ordered the Cofradia's disbandment and the arrest of its members. Feeling an attack on their religious freedom from Catholic authorities, Hermano Pule and his aide, Hermano Mayor Octavio Ignacio Purgatorio de San George rallied 4,000 followers at Barrio Isabang on the slopes of Mount Banahaw and was able to resist an attack from Alcalde Mayor Joaquin Ortega and his 300 men on 23rd of October 1841. Ortega and many of his men were killed in the battle. When the news of the skirmish reached Governor General Marcelo de Ora, reinforcements from Manila were sent to Tayabas. On November 1, 1841, the government forces led by Col Joaquin Witt arrived Tayabas. They initially offered government amnesty to the Cofradea with the exemption of Hermano Pol and his aides. When they refused, they were annihilated by Colonel Witt's government forces, allegedly masquerading hundreds of old men, women, and children who joined Hermano Pol in Alitao. Pule fled to Barrio Gibana in Sariaa but was captured by Colonel Huet's forces the following evening. On 4th of November 1941, after a brief trial held at the present day of Casa Comunidad, he was executed by firing squad in the town of Tayabas at the young age of 27. The authorities had his body quartered. His dismembered head, hands, and feet were exhibited throughout Tayabas province. The other leaders of the Crofadia, Octavio Ignacio Purgatorio de San George, Dionisio de los Reyes, Francisco Espinosa de la Cruz, and Gregorio Miguel de Jesus were also executed along with him. Investigating the November 1841 Alitao Massacre, the Supreme Court of Spain officially reprimanded Governor General de Ora. The court affirmed that Pule and the Cofradia had no political motives. However, they acknowledged that the Cofradia had committed an ecclesiastical offense for conducting religious activities without the approval of the Catholic Church. A monument to Hermano Pule now stands in the boundary of Tayabas and Lucena. His death anniversary, 4 November, is a holiday in Quezon Province. Without sacrifice, there could be no victory. Hermano Puli laid his, and that completes history.